A massive queue at a cramped office in the eastern city of Port Sudan. These Sudanese are here to apply for passports. Since authorities inaugurated a new office late August, hundreds of people have lined up all day, every day, desperate to obtain paperwork that will allow them to leave Sudan's deadly war behind. If you have an appointment today, you won't be able to enter. Other people will enter before you, even if you've been waiting before they came, just because they have connections. It shouldn't be this way. Not everyone has connections. A million people have crossed Sudan's borders since April, fleeing the devastating war between the Sudanese army and the paramilitary Rapid Support Forces. Rapid Support Forces, according to the United Nations. No one wants to leave their country, but the war conditions forced us to leave. I'm from Khartoum and I had to flee. Anywhere but Sudan. This is no longer a country. It did not provide us with any of our rights. No food, no medicine, no education, nothing. More than 2.8 million people have fled the Sudanese capital, Khartoum, where the pre-war population was around 5 million. Some left immediately, but others spent months sheltering in their homes, rationing water and electricity, while praying that the rockets were farther away than they sounded.